Good Friday afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls with another update on what's taking place out there. So all of the south suburbs, northwest Indiana, dealing with very, very heavy snow coming down. Notice all of the darker shades of blue here. We're actually getting reports of snow rates being over two inches per hour in some cases, which is certainly going to be enough to reduce those visibilities very drastically as we're getting ready for the afternoon and the evening commute. Also notice showing up here several lightning strikes. So don't be taken off guard if you actually hear some thunder out there this afternoon. Afternoon. We do have thunder snow taking place across the region. Checking in now with our road conditions. This is what you're going to be dealing with if you have to be out and about this afternoon or evening. We're seeing heavy snow in northwest Indiana, snow covered roadways. We were just hearing um, from Indiana state police officials and they were saying that we have completely snow covered roads in some locations. So just be mindful of that. If you're going to be heading south of the city throughout this afternoon or evening, you're going to see drastically different conditions from when you leave the city and then head further off toward the south. Notice in Chicago, further northward, further westward, we're just dealing with wet pavement at this time and we really haven't seen much in the way of snow other than a few flurries kind of mixing in with some of the rainfall. So our weather alerts that we still have in effect, we have that winter storm warning for all locations that are highlighted here in pink through about 10 p.m. for as much as four to eight inches of snow. It's going to be a very wet, a very heavy snowfall. So when you are clearing that from sidewalks, driveways, take frequent breaks. This is what we often to often refer to as heart attack snow because it's very, very heavy. Uh, Southern Cook County, Western Will County, and Grundy County still has a winter weather advisory remaining in effect through about 10 p.m., but only for about one to two inches of slush, slushy accumulations. So Futurecast will time things out for you. We are still going to be dealing with the snow for a few more hours, but notice by about 8 p.m. or so, a lot of this activity is moving out of here, so this is not going to be lasting all day, but with those impressive snow rates, that's where we're going to be picking up those heavier snow accumulations. Again, four to eight inches going to be possible in the warning area by daybreak tomorrow. We're just going to be waking up to partly cloudy conditions and temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s and low 30s. The weekend ahead looks great. We're going to be in the 40s. We'll see a lot of melting taking place. And then on Monday, we're climbing to near 60 degrees. I'll have another update coming up in a few hours.